Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you're able to see there, the uh, US 30 actually had another quite negative day yesterday. We're kind of slapped down the model of two ranges. Potential support still remains around about 16,178, which is also around 55 period SMA. If we do get a rebound higher, next potential resistance is at 16,401. Again, drag lower by tech stocks overnight. If we then have a look at the UK 100, uh, it also had quite a negative day yesterday. Most of the banks are all down. Um, and we are bouncing around that 21 period SMA and potential support at 6581 as a level to watch today. And then looking at the Japan 225, uh, dollar yen is uh, certainly drifting down right now. So there's lots of yen buying just now. Um, you know, obviously with everything that's happening in Ukraine on the eastern border, uh, lots of pro-Russian uh, movement over there just now. Uh, I think the markets are a little bit on tender hooks. I'm actually seeing a little bit of buying on gold and Japanese yen. Uh, and selling of the UFD. Um, so as you can see there, uh, Japan 25 slowly drifting down, touching that 21 period SMA. Next potential support is at 14.219. So looking at that dollar yen, you'll be able to see its, uh, its move. Looking at 102 spot 87, its potential support. Next potential support is at 101 spot 80. If we do get a rebound, then 103 spot 77 is where you want to look. Okay, so I've had a quick look at West Texas crude, which has been kind of grinding a little bit higher. Um, interesting formation yesterday, bouncing off that potential support at 100 spot 60. Um, that dollar weakness, perhaps giving it a little shot on the arm. Um, but these tips, these candles are still indicative of the um, the pressure that crude faces on the way back up. If it's going to try and rechallenge 103, as you know, this this area right here if we break higher here then we at least we'd be making a pattern of higher highs rather than lower lows but we're kind of seeing right now so potential resistance at 103 uh, potential support still remains at 100 spot 60 and um, fast forward on to gold as I said it kind of been ticking up uh, probably more on that uh, dollar weakness rather than on gold strength but there is a little bit more uncertainty in the markets this morning and um, as you can see they were, were bounced there beautifully off potential support at 1295 um, 55 period SMA acting as a potential cap though, uh, potential resistance still remains at 13.32. So we finish up by looking at Euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar uh, was higher yesterday. Um, uh, the thought being that any stimulus package from the Eurozone uh, was going to take a little bit longer to, um, to kind of come through. Uh, they were modeling a 1 trillion uh, Euro um, kind of asset buying stimulus package which apparently was a long way away. It came out in newspapers over there at the weekend. That caused Euro to, uh, to tip back up. Obviously, dollars kind of losing a little bit of strength as well. We're in positive territory just at the moment. Next potential resistance is at 37.72. And if we quickly end up with um, GBP USD or Google Cable, uh, nothing really that exciting happening here. We are getting a potential golden cross on moving averages. I haven't put much stock in it, but just the way this has been moving. Uh, we are slapped down in the middle of two ranges. Potential resistance at 67.44, potential support at 65.19. So, economic announcements. So, you got the UK data due at 9.30 UK time. It's industrial production, manufacturer out output, nothing else. And then if we fast forward on to tomorrow, more UK data. So, UK 100 guys and cable or GBP USD guys have got at least some fundamentals to keep them going. And you do have those petroleum uh, sales on Wednesday as ever at 5.30, crude oil Wednesday, so any crude oil traders will want to have, get a chance to have a look at that. And if we then go on to Thursday, you've got Chinese data, which people will be looking at, interest rate announcements from the UK, and jobless claims in the US. Make sure you keep it on the chart forum and make insights part of your layout going forward so that you can get a kind of, kind of uh, hints and tips from our analysts as the markets are moving. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.